Hello, my name is Larry Martin and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today I'm going to show you how to do something that may not be apparent at first. We had a client the other day ask, on my task widget on a dashboard, can you make it where that the drill down action will go to the parent record instead of the task? Well, the answer to that question is no. Uh, the drill down is going to stay with the business object that you're on. However, there is a way to accomplish what they're asking for. And some of you are going to be like, oh yeah, you could do, well, the what you can do is you can add a context menu action on um, the grid that will allow you to run a one step that will go to the parent record. Now let me show you what I'm talking about, and then I'll show you how it's done. Uh, so over here we have our My Work dashboard that has some tasks on by me. Nothing in the dashboard widget shows you what the parent record is is or even what type of record it's for. For some people, they don't care. They're going to come to their task that they have open. They're going to double click, go to the task itself, do their work, and come back to their dashboard or go on to something else. But some clients want to be able to go to the parent record so they can see the larger picture. I don't want to be focused just on my task. I want to know what else is going on in the incident, change, etc and then take action on my task. So to accomplish this, uh, what I've done is added, if you right click on a task in the grid, you have a actions. And I added the go to parent record one step here. When I click that, it'll take me to the record that has that task in it. Now, in this case, there are four tasks so the person will still have to, the technician or user will still have to come in and figure out which one of these tasks they were looking for since we came to the parent record. But it brings them to the parent record, they can get to their task and carry on. So we've met what the client asked for. Now how do we do this? Many of you will know how, but uh, we want to go ahead and walk through the process. So in our admin client, first off we have to create a new blueprint. Now, obviously, I have everything set up, so I'm just going to show you the steps. Um, I'm not going to actually need to perform them, so I will walk you through it. Once we're in our admin client in a blueprint, we're going to go to supporting objects. We're going to scroll down to the task object. And we're going to go to edit actions. Now, on the edit actions, we're going to come on the left side here and come to context menu. Then we're going to add an action, add a one-step action, and that's going to be this go-to parent record, which is a one-step that I created. So we'll come in here, we'll choose one step, and we'll create a new one. Now the go-to parent one-step is fairly simple. It's a single action. Now in your environment, you'll probably want to expand this out for however many objects you have actions on or tasks on. I just elected to do this on incident, but you'll notice I've got an action condition so that I have this built out and ready to support tasks on change and other objects. So we'll add a go to record. In this case, I'm looking at incident. So first thing is my action condition is only run it when the task parent type is incident. So this is for incidents. I would duplicate this and change the action to be when parent type equals change request, etc. Um, and then in the steps, uh, I would obviously in this go to parent incident. Uh, business object is incident. And the record ID is my task parent record ID. And then we want to make the new record current so that we go and we actually stay on the incident or the parent record. Uh, to do this, to add in the, um, like for change requests, we would simply copy. And our action condition, we would change, whoops, we would change that 
to be task parent type. Oh, because we made this record current, it is in the um, context of incident at this point. So to expand this further to include incidents and change, we'd actually use a couple of variables. So we'll update a variable. This variable would be parent type, and we just do a variable var parent type, and that value is going to be the task uh, parent type name. Then we'll add another variable. That variable is going to be parent record. Uh, give them variable var parent rec ID. And from here, we'll go into task, into our system, and choose the task.parentRec ID. Then we would make a couple of changes here. On this one, we would change the action condition to look at the variable instead of the task object. So we would change this to be a variable parent type equals incident. Because again, we're going to change context uh, after the first one. So we want to make sure that we can do that. And then we're going to say our business object is incident because we know that if our parent type name variable equals incident, then we're on incident. But then our record ID is not going to be task parent record ID. It's going to be our variable uh, parent rec ID. Now we can do the same thing with change. We'll just change the action condition. Instead of using the task parent type name, we're going to use the variable again variable uh, var parent type and here we'll put in change request and then we'll change our business object to be change request and our record ID again will be the var or variable var parent rec ID we still want to make it current so that's how you can um, manipulate this to work for various types and we'll say go to parent or go to change request parent and we'll rename this one go to incident parent once you're done you can save that publish it and you will now have your grid set up. Obviously, if you have more uh, object types that you need to do uh, go-tos uh, from the task, you keep extending that out. Anyhow, I hope you found the video useful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We produce these videos every week, showing you a different little something in ShareWell. Uh, if you have questions, you can leave us a comment in the channel, or you can tweet us, send us an email, etc. Someone will then either reply to you and or will produce a video showing you the answer to your question. Thank you.